Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you different way of applying ACL or axis level control for the user or axis level list for the user. So there are different ways you do that in Laravel. So today in this short video, I will just show you the different ways and in the following video, we will apply them in our Laravel application. So if you have ever used any of packages like this one, which is called Bouncer, the other one is uh, interest and the other one is Laravel ACL they are the package that let you do like rule based permission system for your Laravel application so these are the package if you are going to use these packages you have to install them and you have to configure them these are like uh, they will create a um, table in your database and then based on the table and database they will create rule and permission for the user it is a little bit like complicated if you don't know the relation the relational database that's why i'm not going to use any of the packages so if you have heard of these packages this bouncer is i think the easiest one because they are not going to do much of the things this is very easy to do i think they are going to use the policy that we are going to create that ourselves so here in the laravel documentation if you come here in the authorization part here in the security authorization you will see that they have uh, mm, a few ways that you can create your own ACL so this is very easy uh, if you have not used this it, it might look a, li a little complicated but I will try to make it as easy as possible for you to understand so you know that um, I just want to make it easy for you to understand not only make it make it to work so that's why I, I will explain everything in details if you go to get and uh, you can define a gate it is like a door let's say you create a door it is for user and you create another door this is for admin something like that so and the other one is for creating policy policy is also a basic uh, uh, principle for creating limitation for user basically if I define the policy it would be like that if you have any model in your Laravel application all of those model can have a policy and that policy is just a rule that you define for that model let's say you have a model called post and you have a policy for that the policy means limitation let's say you can limit a user from viewing a post from editing a post from deleting a post that is the policy so you can create a policy and then you can apply it for the different type of user you know when we created our application we put a field called you know, type in our application so on the type we store the user type like admin uh, user author any of those stuff so based on that we can determine like either the user have permission to do something or not so that is very easy for us so this is the different way you can apply acl in your application so in the following video i will show you how to do this one and let me show you one of the example here is one of my application i am working on so basically if you open your auth service provider in the boot function all you can do is you can write all your uh, get here let's say i have a get called is admin it is just going to database and search for the user type if the user type value is equal to admin so this get is for admin so they know that it will return true and anywhere i use this one i know that this user is admin this they can do anything they want if he is a user it will return true if the user type is user if this is an organization or even in the profile page you can say either this is my profile or not so we have made that a little simple we don't need this one because we already detect that we take the authenticated user but if any in any example you can just say if this is my profile or not you can just create a gate for that one and this is basic example of how I apply it in my application I do not write any extra table in my database and this is going to work just fine for me and for you as well so in the following video I will show you how you can apply ACL to your Laravel application and I will try to explain everything in details and step by step so that you can understand not only make it to work so before we do that you know Laravel 5.7 is out so in the next video I will show you how you can upgrade your application because this our application is in the early stage that's why i just want to show you how you can upgrade any laravel application so see you in the next video